The rock. Full of mice? It's only for a few weeks. And it's freezing. <laughs> How's Professor Lehman? Good mood, bad mood? Uh, depends who she's talking to. Probably better that she doesn't talk to me then. Which is why I'm calling, not her. So what's up? She just revised a section of the seabed she once mapped. I'll send you new specs. Okay. What? She wants readings with the AUV running at 25 meters above the seafloor before it runs at 10. Rahim, we're talking about hundreds of kilometers. I know. I'll be stuck here all summer. I know. Well, why do I have to start at 25 meters? So you don't run the AUV ground like you did. <sighs> Last time, I know. So no shortcuts, OK? Charlie! Oh, we missed you last night. Last night? I have a very sloppy text from you at 5 this morning. Did you even go to bed? I can sleep on the flight. <laughs> anything you need? Uh, where do I start? <laughs> if you think of anything, let me know. Uh, something strange is happening. Uh, I've got to go. <laughs> okay.
best we can figure, it washed up on a beach an hour ago. It came in with the high tide. A dog walker spotted it. Said it was already dead. He. What? He's a male. It's part of a pod that migrated to Vancouver Island every year. Haven't seen him since last season. Wind direction is north. Northwesterly. He's not been dead much more than two, maybe three hours, so that would put him about. Murray Cove. Let's see what they have to say. Can you cordon us off? Someone from these two be down to cover him. You think they're bite marks? What's well, gonna bite an orca? Leon. All right, Kit. Jack. Kit. It's been a while. Too long. Kit. Did you hear anything about the orca that washed up on the beach this morning? Finish up for me. I'll be back in a minute. I'll show you something. Saying an orca did this? I spoke to the guys. It happened early hours this morning. Swam close to the boat a couple times. They thought I was just being curious until it started to get aggressive. They tried to push it aside, but it just kept coming, smashing into the side of the boat, acting all crazy. A whale that big in a boat this size? They had no choice but to fight back with bill hooks, blades, anything that came to hand. No choice. Do you really think they'd fight an orca for a few fish? Catches are dropping off. Put an hour between a man and the object of his attention. You'd be surprised what he'll do. Nobody around here would want to see an orca hurt. If the guys say it attacked, then it did. I gotta get back. Place to hook, Leon. Place to hook. Was ist passiert? Keine Ahnung. Der Antrieb hat nicht mehr funktioniert. Ich habe es eingesammelt und zurückgebracht. Die Isolierung sieht aus, als wäre sie geschmolzen. Hast du es vorm Start geprüft? Klar habe ich es geprüft. Hm. Keine losen oder ausgefransten Kabel. Ich weiß, wie man einen Pre-Launch-Check an einem AUV durchführt, Thomas. Mhm. Und wie erklärst du dir das hier? Kann ich nicht. Habe ich doch gesagt, der Antrieb hat einfach nicht mehr funktioniert. 
Bist du sicher, dass du es nicht selber warst? Was ist er? Saying? saying she's covering her ass. Just leave the party, oh, okay? I'll do it. I'll do it, yeah? Wenn du noch eine zerstörst, dann bin ich dran. So, when do you sail? Tomorrow, from Hüsevik. It'll be good to get out of the lab, spend some time in the field. It'll be great. I wish you were coming. <sighs> and miss all this. Work is important, you know? The data the AUVs collect is important, but operating them is a job for a first-year student. We both know why I'm here. I'll do the job, stick to the rules, and all will be forgiven. Until next time. A whiskey. We have a lot of that. Any one in particular? A good one. Can't go wrong with a McAnally. Sure. Make it two, I want it. So what did you do then? Sorry? Yeah, here last summer, up at the station. Stefan? And so on. What about him? He told me back in Germany he started a fire. I almost burnt the lab down. I didn't start a fire, if that's what you're asking. So what was it then? <laughs> I like doing things my own way. How does that go down with your bosses? Faculty advisor. Not well. <laughs> So when you're not getting up their noses, what do you do? Trying to finish my PhD. In? I don't want to bore you. Oh. Go on, try me. Monitoring tidal fluctuation, other possible stresses on the ecosystem, like overfishing, water pollution. Overfishing? That's a controversial term around here. Well, stocks are on the edge of collapse. I'd call that overfishing, wouldn't you? Or you could call them men trying to feed their families. Not if the fish run out. So what do you do? I'm a fisherman. <laughs> of course you are. Douglas McKinnon. That's how you want Hi. Charlie Wagner. So if you ever want any fresh fish, I go by the station most mornings. I don't eat fish. Of course you don't. <laughs> I'm not usually so abrasive. Not on first meeting, anyway. Thanks for the warning. So drinks on me, Iona. Well, thank you very much. You can come again. Aye, right. she can.
back to me. No, I'm actually looking at the effect of seismic surveys on marine animals. And I read your report on geological studies and oil exploration. Yes, and from the World Oceanographic Commission. It would be wonderful if we could schedule a proper interview. Well, uh, I'm based in Canada for another month. Yeah, yeah, a video call would work. It's Alicia Delaware. Yes, like the state, at woc.org. I appreciate it. Talk to you then. I heard about the orca. First whale of the season and it washes up dead. Yeah. What do you think is going on? They've been late before. Not this late. I'm sorry, you kind of caught me at a bad time. Okay. Sorry. I'll catch you later. to try their luck again tomorrow. Uh, what do you think? Hey, what's his name? Brian. I'm sorry Brian's friends didn't show up today. Sometimes they're a little shy. Maybe the whales will show up tomorrow. Can we go? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Two sugars, lemon no ice. Thanks. <sighs> Another group's bailed. It's the fourth time this week. If it goes on for much longer, we might have to sell the boat. I'm gonna have to take a rain check on our trip. I can't be spending money I don't have right now. If you need some help to get you through. On what you make? I have savings. That's why they're called savings. You save them. You gave me a job when we were in college when I thought I had to drop out. My dad did, and you worked for it. I wasn't alone. You can pay me back when you publish your first book. Honestly, I appreciate it. But I can take a loan, not if I don't know when I can pay it back. Okay. You know the talks I give at the Institute on Whale Songs? What about it? I'll give it here. The Whale Station. A few evenings a week through the season. And you can keep the take. Thanks, Leon. And if it all goes to hell, we could always use another pilot at the Institute. <laughs> I'm not that desperate. This is a first for everything. I usually do the ducking out. This must be new for you. Oh, big boy. I can handle it. Uh, if you pull the door, it locks on the inside, and there's coffee over there if you want. 
Believe it or not, I was going to invite you to breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. Clearly. I need to launch some equipment, so it won't take long. There's a storm blowing in. It could be dangerous out there. I'll be back in no time. Is there anything I can see to persuade you otherwise? Not as much. What are you doing? Coming with you. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't doubt that. But you and I wouldn't go out there on my own. Not even going to shower? Would you wait for me? No. There you go, then. Hey, do you see that? What the hell is that? Pass me that hook. Thank you. Have a lighter? Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> it's methane hydrate. Fire eyes. Dead algae sink and get buried in the seabed. And when they break apart, they release methane, which then freezes. Sometimes pieces break free and float to the surface. Looks like a hell of a lot. More than just a few pieces. Do it on the boat. <laughs> His name is Douglas. Oh, we have a name. <laughs> He's a friend, just a friend. Now, will you all kind of <clears throat> fuck off? She's here. Let's get started. And this was limited to this spot? out and check out a few other areas, see how widespread it is. How deep is the water there? About 800 meters. But I checked the tidal flow, temperature, and water pressure, and I'm pretty sure the hydrates would have broken free of the seabed at a depth of 600 meters. Put the ADCP in downward-looking mode on the AOV to measure the currents. 
See if you can confirm the location. Will do. Send me the data. Without my having to remind you. Of course. Let's schedule another call for the end of the week. Jess Thomas, can you stay on? Uh, sign off. No, no, hold on. Who's the man on the boat? Uh, uh, he was helping me out. The seas can get pretty fierce around here. Next time you ask me. In the event of an accident, there are liability issues, insurance issues for non-employees. I'm sorry, I should have checked. I have no problem with your asking for someone's help. But when you go out again, I expect everyone on board to be wearing life jackets. You know the rules, and I expect you to follow them. It, it won't happen again. Looks like you've come a long way for nothing. I was hoping the whales would stick to my schedule, but it seems they have other ideas. So how does an Italian get named after an American state? Delaware. I like to think the state was named after me. But you'd have to ask my father, the American. He doesn't live in Delaware, does he? Last I heard, he was in Ohio. Tell me, how did you end up in Canada? Dishonorable discharge. You were military? U.S. Navy. I was a trainer. Dolphins, mostly. We used them to clear mines in the Persian Gulf in the invasion of Iraq in 2003. When they were retired from active service, they didn't know what to do with them. They didn't think that they were fit for the wild. Said they were worried they wouldn't survive. So they kept him in captivity, in pens, too small to swim. Kept alive just to die. So I freed him. Got caught, got thrown out of the Navy, kicked around for a few years. But having a dishonorable discharging record doesn't exactly inspire confidence in people. The folks up here at the Institute were a little more sympathetic. They're back. Whales are back. I know. The reports are just starting to filter in. And not just here. There have been sightings up and down the coast. Everywhere? At the same time? Listen, I gotta go. I wanna be the first boat out there. Ready to see one of these for real? Hey. There you go. Glad we stayed in town, despite some protests. So, are you guys excited? Hey, glad you made it. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to see them. You're not the only one. There's some ponchos next to the life jacket. Thanks. All right, land lovers, everybody on board.
visitors to the Vancouver Island area. However, our most exciting visitors are the whales that migrated south last year and are only arriving back just now. Brian uses this part to navigate. Like on a ship, you know there's a rudder on a ship, and you turn it like this, and it gives a direction. That is what this is for. Lady Wexham, this is Zodiac, come in! I need to copy! This is Lady Wexham, come in! 